Hey, coaches. So tonight I wanted to talk to you about expanding your network um, because that's kind of all we're about <laughs> as speech body coaches is getting to more people, talking to more people, and networking, hence the name network marketing. Um, but it's not just about expanding your network and calling it a day. It's about building relationships with people. And that's kind of what I'm going to talk about. I have five points, which is fine. Um, and I'm going to try and spend a minute or so on each of them. So here we go. Number one, there is one simple rule to all of this. Okay, so um, let me back up a little bit. So when I have coaches come to me and say, I don't have anybody to talk to, I say two things. Where's your list? I would have three words to them too. Where's your list? And find more people. Okay, two things. That's it. So I'm going to talk about both of those things. The first one is, is that the bottom line to all of this is, to all this business is, honestly, is find more people. Period. Simple. End of story. Bye. Have a good night. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um, so that said, the first thing I'm going to tell you, and this is something that they've been talking about in the corporate office um, for sure this month, um, more so than others, but Go talk to people. Go talk to them. Don't be afraid to talk to them. Talk to people in the bank. Talk to people at the grocery store. Talk to people at your kids, whatever they do, sporting events or whatever they do. Talk to people. Be friendly. Um, not about beach body necessarily, but form bonds, form relationships with people. Do not be afraid to talk to people. Um, and then if you are talking beach body to people, don't be afraid to get them on the phone. You know, dispense with the texting and the Facebook messaging, get people on the phone and talk to them, ask them questions, get them to talk about themselves. Um, because that's really what they want to do is talk about themselves anyway. But the important thing is, is that you need to get to know them so that you know what their strengths and weaknesses and trigger points and all that good stuff are so that when they do come around to wanting to start to do something with you, you know exactly how to lead them in that right direction. All right, in terms of social media, because that's a lot of how we build our network is through social media, um, I want you guys to realize that even if you only have 200 friends on Facebook, or maybe you have 100 friends on Facebook, guess what? Your friends have friends. So guess what you're going to do? You're going to go to your friends' friend lists and see all of your mutual friends, and then you're going to start requesting uh, friends from there. And it's probably people that you know, probably maybe people you haven't seen in 25 years, but nonetheless, people you know, and it's fun to reconnect with them anyway. Um, see pictures of their kids. And I, the, one of the most fun things I think is um, to see my friends now that have kids that were, um, you know, our age when we met. So like when my friends post pictures of their teenagers, you know, and I met that friend when we were 13 or 14 and I look at them and I'm like, oh my gosh, they look just like you did at the same age. That's so much fun. So it's fun to reconnect with people anyway. But a lot of times that's where you're going to find your friends is in mutual friend lists. And it's a great place to find them. And pretty much recommending that you guys friend request five to 10 people per day. Um, each day because you need to expand your network. You need to find more people to talk to. And um, the thing is, is that as you expand your network, you're expanding your reach um, and you're expanding your, um, your mission basically to those other people. And so as you gain more people to talk to, you're going to find that more people are actually going to listen to, <laughs> which is fun. Um, and then, and then, Generally, you'll find more people to help. Um, I have not not experienced that, and neither have um, the people on my team who get out there and really um, make an effort and friend five to ten people, and then they find that they actually do have more friends to talk to, which is good. Um, and so after you have um, reached more people, they're going to now see what you're up to, all right? And that's pretty cool, too. Um so then they can then see, oh, well, she, she looks good. I haven't seen her in 25 years. I can't believe she looks that way. Well, what's she up to? What's she doing? They're going to go find out, and then you're going to start, um, you know, relationship with them. But the other important thing is to start conversations with people, and you can do that through their posts. Um, 
by commenting on things that they post or you can do it through messaging but um, I recommend that you start conversations with about three people a day. So that would be really about maybe 15 people a week. Um, and don't start conversations about Beachbody. Hey, so-and-so, I'm a Beachbody coach. Well, they're going to be like, yeah, I'm not answering that one. So you just start conversations with people. Start talking to them about what's been going on in their life, that their daughter's really cute or really cool that she can do a backflip, a cheerleading, you know, whatever it is that, that you can talk about, you start conversations with people. And, and that is really, really important. Um, because that's what we're doing is building, um, relationships. So the next thing that's super important that I said at the very beginning, the other three, um, word sentence that I tell my coaches all the time is make a list period. Um, make a list. I don't care where you put your list. You can put it on a piece of paper. You can put it in a notebook. You can put it on an Excel spreadsheet. You can use a, a customer tracking system like Teamsy or um, One Page CRM or um, there's a bunch of them. But anyway, you can use any tracking system you want. But make a list and keep the list going. Keep it updated. Keep it constant. If you were to make a list of all the people that you've talked to, that you've started conversations with, and people that you've talked to about Beachbody, you will never not have people to go to because you can message 20 people in a month or 50 people in a month and still end up at Success Club 5 or 10. That's a whole lot of people that you didn't actually um, get going with you. So think of all those people that you still can talk to. That's a ton of people. Let's say, let's say you really do message 10 people a week, okay? So that's 40 people a month. And so you've got 40 people a month that you're talking to. And let's say you reach Success Club 10. That's five people purchasing a challenge pack. So you've got 35 people to continue talking to. But how are you going to know to continue to talk to those people if you don't keep a list? Make a list. Find more people. It's a pretty simple concept. They're both pretty simple concepts, but they're also super important. Um, the other thing I would say is, and this, this is something that has actually changed the way that I react to people in general is be nice. Well, simple. So when you're at Walmart and you're checking out and your checker is grumpy because she works at Walmart um, and she's grumpy, nothing wrong with working at Walmart, but Let's just say she's grumpy because most of them are. Um, smile at her. Ask her how her day is. See how it's going. Um, and I bet you get a smile back. And it, not only does it improve her day, it improves your day too. Um, so just be nice to people. Be friendly. Um, and you'll find that it's really easy to talk to people. And the more you practice it, the better you're going to get at it. And the better you're going to get at it, or the better you get at it, the better your business is going to go in general, in life too, the better you're going to be just a happier person, which is great. Um, but you got to practice it. You got to practice being nice. So to recap, there's really two things about this video about expanding your network. Two things, find more people, make a list. Very, very simple. I'm going to give you one warning though. Um, don't friend request too many people at once because Facebook will put you in jail for that. Um, and then you won't be able to do anything on Facebook for about 10 days. So be a little careful about that. And the other thing that you can do, and we can talk about this in a team call at some point if you don't understand how to do it, but you can go to your outgoing friend requests and clear them out um, and then start over again. So you can you know, undo friend requests that you've done and that they haven't responded. Um, and then they'll come up again at some point in time in your mutual friends list. Usually it doesn't really matter, but um, it's good to keep that list kind of clear so that um, Facebook doesn't put you in jail. That's my only warning. It's a pretty simple concept, you guys. So your call to action is to right now, right now, go add five friends. And then in the comments, I want you to tell me I added five or 10 or however many people that your friend requested. I want you to tell me in the comments. And then I want you to not be afraid of doing that every single day. And I want um, next time we talk on the phone or on the phone, on the <laughs> Zoom call, I want you guys to be able to tell me that you are comfortable adding friends because that's important. All right, you guys have a good night. Thanks for listening.